Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. This one is probably the most exciting one since maybe first spotting construction for Elp and Fury. But they finally have like a team of like 100 people working on Elp and Fury. It is like a full-on city in there. So as you see, they're dividing and conquering Elp and Fury's plot of land. So over here in Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land, they are working on all those mass footings and the groups of footings and finishing them off. Um, and over by Wonder Mountain's Guardian on the west side of um, Extreme Sky Flyer's Plot of Land, uh, closer to um, where the coaster will shoot to the mountain and come down, they're removing trees and digging the caissons for the footing. So they are definitely dividing and conquering this coaster. Um, they are finishing off making that peak on top of the mountain a little more vertical to allow more clearance. So that is a process. And if you look closely, you'll even see construction workers walking up alongside the mountain. So that was cool. No vertical construction yet um, over in that area, but there is definitely signs of people working inside the mountain. So we'll have to check for you guys today for Haunt. Um, but yeah, this is getting really exciting. This is the biggest amount of um, work I've been seeing going on for Elp and Fury and the largest team I've seen working on Elp and Fury. So definitely very exciting. Even work has started on Winterfest's skating rink. Um, but yeah, uh, outside of that, um, not too much else to report on. Um, so you'll notice when you go in the park that there's definitely, um, the finishing of the footings in Extreme Skyflyer's Wild Land, a lot more tree removal and caisson work going on over here. You'll actually even see that they've started to remove structural pieces of the mountain itself right there. You'll see that. So they've definitely been cutting away at the interior of the mountain, um, to get ready for that coaster to shoot up out of. So that'll be really exciting to see. Um, in the maze, the the ruins. So if you want a good look at that, that's where you're going to get your best view. There are more track pieces, by the way. Um, so we have a total of 10 pieces so far and a lot more supports. So that's really exciting. But yeah, with this, um, this new drone footage, I've been taught how to edit drone footage. I can see a lot more now. So this is crazy. I love it. Hopefully you guys like this too. It's almost like you're there with binoculars. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I'll show you guys the track right about now. So here's Elp and Fury's 10 pieces of track and a lot of support comms. And if you look very closely, you'll see some black tiny ones right there. Those are for the launch or even the storage track area of Elp and Fury. So um, with that being said, definitely a lot of exciting things happening. You're going to start to see track shipments becoming more frequent. You're going to see vertical construction happen probably next week and maybe at latest the week after but i'm fully suspecting starting next week maybe they'll wait for halloween haunt to be fully finished and that little gap to start but um they need to get this thing off the ground and into the air and supported as quickly as possible as winter is approaching anyways thank you so much for watching today's construction update and stay tuned for our in-park update have a good one guys bye